Hello everyone and welcome back to Court Climbs. Today I'm talking about the Madrock Drone LV. I've had this shoe for about a month now and I'm absolutely in love so I thought that I'd share some of my experiences with you and see if maybe it's a shoe that you wanted to try. Like I said, I've been wearing these shoes for about a month now, so they do look a little worn, but they looked pristine out of the box. Oh, and for anyone wondering, I'm not sponsored by Madrock. I'm not sponsored by anyone. Maybe give this video a like, help me out. Maybe I could get sponsored by Madrock. I just really love these shoes and I wanted to give a good honest review because I know that I have went through a lot of struggles trying to find a shoe that really works well for me and it feels so good to finally have found that. So let's talk about some of the basic features of the Madrock Drone LV. So first up, the rubber. The rubber is called Science Friction 3.0, which is a hilarious name, and it's also very, very sticky. And they give you plenty of it on the toe box area for toe hooks, and also on the heel, they give this extra little fin so that you actually can heel hook better. And I found in my experience that it actually does make your heel hooks feel a lot more secure. The shoe features a Velcro closure system. It makes your foot when you strap it in just feel nice and snug and ready to climb. So something that I really do love about this shoe is that you can feel super secure on small footholds. And I think that has to do with this bit of a downturn toe and then that science friction rubber that I was talking about previously. It really does give you the ability to edge and push on small footholds. So it edges well, it also smears well. I haven't had any issues before. There were climbs in my Mythos and in my Black Diamonds that I was trying to smear on and it would just slip. There was no chance that I was going to send it even though I was giving the same amount of effort. But in these, the smearing ability is just phenomenal. Another thing that I really love about this shoe is that it has good sensitivity. So you can really feel where you're placing your toe, where you're placing your heel. You can feel the wall, but not so much that it digs in and hurts. It really just is the perfect balance of stiff and flexible. Another thing that I love about the Madrock drone is honestly just the look. I mean, these look so cool. I love the bright colors. Now, I did see that they just came out with an all black pair. So if you're a person that's like, ah, I don't really like the bright colors, uh, go ahead and get the all black pair if you're interested because they look super sweet too. Something that's actually crazy to me is how cheap this shoe is compared to other high-end shoes and how well it performs compared to them. So I got these Madrock Drone LVs on backcountry.com for $106 when they went on sale. So they were originally $129, but they were having a sale. So like I said, I got them for $106 which is a crazy price compared to some of the other high-end shoes out there. I actually feel like it's a little bit on the lower end of the spectrum because when I had my Mythos, I was paying $150. When my husband Jed got his La Sportiva solutions, I believe they're around 180. So this is just a great shoe, not only for its functionality, not only for its aesthetics, but also for its value and its cost. It's just, I don't know. I don't know, man, I just love the shoe. So let's talk about this shoe compared to some of the shoes that I've worn in the past. So the Mythos. As you can see, the Mythos is a lot less downturned than the Mad Rock drone is. In fact, I would argue it's almost <laughs> the opposite. It's almost like an upturn. If you're talking about st stepping on the small foothold, you can see how this would slip off easily 
compared to this downturn so it would help you stay on. So the Maverick drone also seems to be a fairly durable shoe, which is great because I hate buying new shoes only to buy a brand new pair one month later because they broke on me. And I'll give you an example of that. On my Mythos, I had two pairs that busted out the toe in a month of climbing. So you can kind of see the toe of this one a month into climbing on it compared to the toe of this one. This still looks climbable. Yeah, it looks great. The one thing I wanted to show you is how asymmetrical the Mad Rock drone is compared to the Black Diamond shoes that I used to climb in. And I think that really helps to improve the fit and make it feel nice and secure on your foot because your feet aren't really that symmetrical if you think about it. Another feature I really enjoy about the shoe is the two pull tabs on the side. I know that this is pretty common in a lot of higher end shoes, but it really does make your shoe a lot easier to pull on, especially when you wanna get that nice and tight sizing. So let's talk sizing. When I ordered this shoe, I originally got a size seven, but when it came and I tried to put it on, I could not even fit my foot into the shoe. It could be that my foot is wider and that I actually need the high volume shoe instead of the low volume, which is what the LV in the Mad Rock Drone LV stands for. But I'm thinking that because I ordered a size and a half up uh, and went with an eight and a half and it seems to fit my foot perfectly, it was simply just a sizing issue. So yeah, I got these in an eight and a half and it didn't seem to be an issue. I think that the fit feels really secure and this sock part on the inside feels really nice and soft and even though it's a really good technically sound solid shoe, it still feels comfy. And some people might be like, oh, well, your, your climbing shoe shouldn't feel comfy. <laughs> when I first had this shoe, it didn't feel comfortable. It felt really tight. It felt like a new climbing shoe. Your foot did not want to be in it for more than a couple of climbs, if that. So over the month that I've had this shoe, I've worn it outside three or four times and then two to three times inside for about an hour and a half each session. And it's slowly broken in, so now I'm at the point where it feels really comfortable and I can pretty much wear it for the entire hour and a half. Maybe I'll take it off once throughout the entire session, but it still just feels so secure and snug. And that's what I absolutely love about it. As far as stiffness goes, I feel like this shoe is kind of middle of the road where it has a bit of bend in it, but it's also fairly stiff. So I know on most shoe reviews, they talk about the pros and then they talk about the cons, right? So I'm gonna talk about the cons. Like I said, I'm gonna talk about the cons. I, I don't know, I don't have any. The, insert here, insert here. Anyone that's had this shoe, say some of the cons because I can't find them. I do know that some people have said that this fin on the back irritates them when they're trying to do their heel hooks on really flat surfaces, but hasn't bugged me. I think it's been great. So do I recommend that you buy this shoe? Absolutely, 100% yes. And I'm already excited to go out and buy my next pair after this pair wears out. When I wear these shoes out, I'm going to be going through the process of resoling for my first time ever. So maybe hit that subscribe button if you're interested in learning more about the process of resoling because at this point I have absolutely no clue about how any of that works and maybe that's where you're at too. So I'm going to be making a video about the entire process of resoling and it'll be up here on the channel. I hope that you found this shoe review useful. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them in the comments below. I read all the comments and I respond to as many of them as I can. So I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching and as always, stay hyped.